Let's make your paper chain people and find how stratified medicine works. Firstly, fold your paper concertina style. Then, draw a person shape on the front. Make sure the hands and feet extend off the edge. Next, cut out and unfold it. Now you have a chain of people that you can decorate. Why not give them clothes, hair, and maybe even hobbies? Next, let's add some DNA to each person. You can use four different colors of stickers or pens to make a pattern. Scientists use red, yellow, green and blue, but you can use any colors you want. Scientists think that these DNA patterns are really important. They might even help us decide which medicine would work best for each person. Let's find out more. DNA is the molecule of life. It is a set of instructions, like a recipe, that makes us us. Even though, as humans, we share most of our DNA with each other, there still are some small differences that make each human unique. If DNA is like a recipe, then a gene is one line of instructions. Each gene is responsible for a different characteristic, like the color of our hair or our eyes. In the paper humans you have made, you can think of the colored stickers as genes. Each paper human will have a different set of colored stickers because they are each unique. Most of the time, our genes work well and build us a nice healthy body. But when there are one or more problematic genes, a person may fall sick. The kind of sickness and when it develops can vary depending on which genes have gone wrong. These gene patterns can tell scientists lots of interesting things such as which medicine might work best for each person. In our activity, the humans with mostly blue stickers will respond well to blue medicine, while humans with yellow stickers will respond well to yellow medicine. For the humans with mixed stickers, we can't be sure which medicine will work best, and the doctors will need more clues to make a decision. This process of splitting people into different treatment groups is called stratified medicine. But to really understand what is best for the person who is sick, scientists must look not just at genes, but at other things, like what the person eats and what activities they like to do. Comorbid researchers work with big data, which means they combine DNA data, lifestyle data and other clues from 1.8 million people and look for patterns. In doing so, they hope to develop a test that can help predict whether or not a person with mental illness is likely to develop problems with their heart. If the person is very likely to get heart problems, they might be given a different medicine for their mental illness compared to a person who is not likely to get heart problems. This would be better for their long-term health.